Hi, today I want to show you how to add haptic feedback using the Taptic Engine in your iOS device to your iOS application. And I'm also going to do a video for Android once Android is available in Despia. That is the tool I built to turn your web applications that you built in WIST into native mobile applications that you can publish on the App Store with all native features. Now, if you want more information, you can check that out in the video description and sign up for early access. But that was enough advertising. Let's get started with the cool stuff. So if you see, I'm in Webflow right now. So I want to build something where I click on this button and I will get, you know, like a vibration, taptic um, engine feedback, like a haptic feedback when I click on it, which normally doesn't work because your browser doesn't do this. But in a native app, it will work. So the only thing I need to do is navigate to the custom attribute section in Webflow. And I'm going to go to the attribute, I'm going to add WIST, so we can use this in WIST, and I'm going to add the attribute of haptic. Then, inside of WIST, let's reload, we will see that this attribute now pops up. I'm just going to click on this attribute, and I'm going to create an on event click action, and now I'm going to go to the run function section. And the cool thing is, since our a native SDK fully integrates with WIST using the window. We don't need to run any functions. We don't need to write any code. The only thing we need to do is add window dot location dot href. That is it. Equals, and then we're just going to add. And this is this is human language. No fancy code. Success haptic, and then colon slash slash. Because why do we need to do colon slash slash? Because the cool thing here is we're not going to run a function. If we were to run a function, you know, we have to define that. That is more code. We don't want to do code, at least not when we develop the web application. Because the mobile application, in most cases, will just be a standalone product, right? This will just be a separate thing. It, it will just be like we have web app and mobile app. So we don't want to jam up the code of our web application just with stuff for the mobile application. So what is happening here is we're not really compiling it. There are two separate things. There is, you know, the web part and the Swift part. And the web part is in synchronicity integrated into a real Swift application that has access to everything your phone has access to, which is pretty cool. So you know, when WIST is modifying the href, the, the Swift application, the, the shell around this, is, is fetching this change in the href and then triggering a real in-app event using Swift or Kotlin for Android later on and then making your phone vibrate instantly in real time. So you don't need to write any functions in WIST besides updating the href so that, you know, application itself has full reactivity to then detect this change and then do the certain device data accordingly, which is pretty cool. So this is a low code, almost no code approach. So let's actually run this. So, you know, this is the setup. So let me move now to my iPhone and let's see what is happening here. So let's get right started. Hi. So we're now on my iPhone and let's open the app that I just built in Despia and that has been loaded using test flight on my iPhone and let's see if it vibrates. So it is vibrating. Now, I don't know what's the best way to share you this. So let's try putting this on the table and I'm going to move my microphone a little bit. You could only see what's happening here behind the scenes. It's looking ridiculous. Just to get that sound. Let's see what's happening. Okay, here we go. Let me know if you can hear this. Oh, okay.
Can you hear this? Ah, that's better. So, I don't know how good you could hear that. Oh. I don't know how good you could hear this, but it vibrated. So let me adjust my microphone again. It vibrated and it is working perfectly. It is giving a nice feedback on my iPhone. And yeah, that's pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all your support. I really appreciate that. And yeah, if you want to get information when it will be launching early June, uh, go into the description and just, you know, sign up for early access and you'll be the first one to get access to it. And you can then start building native mobile applications and publish them on the App Store directly using WIST and Webflow and then Despia on top of that. And it will fully work with Member Stack because we will also be able to grant access using in-app purchases inside of Member Stack. There is a whole integration coming too. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all your support. I really appreciate that and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.